This is Gorgonzola. After his little close-up here, I decided he could use a little touch-up here and there. So I will play a sped-up process of his facelift, if you will. And I will tell you the tale of how he came to live with us. Once upon a midday frolic, we came upon a grassy knoll. The feline companion of which I call my own sensed movement beyond. Emerging from the wildflowers and rocky speckled grasses came this benevolent beast. No, that's not what really happened. One day, just before my daughter's birthday, she came bursting into the back door yelling, Mom, you must see this beautiful man. I must have him. Can we go get him? Please. Of course, my response was, what are you talking about? She says, come see, come see, and brought me to a window. There was a big tree blocking our view, so I could not see this beautiful man of which she speaks. So we ran to another window and still couldn't see him. So she brought me upstairs and I looked down the block and I said, what is that? And he was leaned up against a tree with a, like a, an old door and there was no sign that I could see. And uh, she says, you know, he is all I want for my birthday, nothing more. Could we go get him, please? Hurry, somebody else is gonna get him. I said, well, let's go check him out. I grabbed my wallet just in case there was a for sale sign or something there. And there was not. So kind of in our area, in our neighborhood, if you don't want something, you can stick it out by the curb and likely someone will pick it up before garbage day. Well, there was also no sign saying free. So I told her I'd feel better if we knock on the door and just ask if he's for sale. So we did. And a woman came to the door and I asked her about the masterpiece leaning on the tree. And she said she made him for Halloween out of paper mache and didn't want him anymore. She said he was taking up space in her garage and that we could have him. Well, I complimented her beautiful craftsmanship and told her how my daughter wants nothing more for her birthday than this ogre. And I offered to pay her for him and she just laughed and said, no, just please just take him. I just really want the space back in my garage. So my daughter insisted on carrying him home herself. And at that time he was almost as big as she was but she hauled him home anyway. We decided on the name Gorgonzola, yes, like the cheese, and he has guarded our back door, he has hung out in our living room while sporting attire or accessories for each of the holidays, and now he has offered to help, some, help me with some card readings. I don't know, maybe we'll call those guidance with gorgonzola or something but some of her friends have asked is he haunted i swear his eyes are moving but no he is a he is not haunted he is a very peaceful um, happy sweet ogre and we just really appreciate him and it's been fun having him live with us Thank you for watching, and if you would like to see more of Gorgonzola, please subscribe, like, and share, and keep an eye out for him in uh, some upcoming readings. Take care.